over the week, the break, I went up to uh, Temple Square, and this is the the tabernacle. And if you can see the, you've got the different exposures. Um, typically, you take, a, well, a lot of times they do just like three different exposures. And on your camera, I don't know, are you going to go into this on the camera? Doing it? <clears throat> um, you've got, what you want to do is you want to keep your aperture the same, and you want to bracket with your, your shutter speed, because you want to keep the depth of field the same. You don't want to be changing that. Um, on, on the D300s and um, more the, the upper, upper class of the cameras, they have a bracket, but you can change it. And it'll bracket by one stop. I think Canons will do two stops, different cameras. But you can just push the button five times or seven times, whatever you want, and you can take a bracketed pictures. This is um, five brackets that one stop apart, so I've got five different exposures. And what I want to do is open it, put this into Photomatics. And this is the program that, that you use. There's different programs, but this is this is the the one that most people use. It's it's the best one. Um, Photoshop can do it as well. And you want to create a HDR picture. That's what you want to do. So I, I've selected those images and put them in there. And you want to. Um, there's different ways you can do this by uh, matching features or horizon and vertical shifts. Um, I was on, I used a tripod, so I don't really need to align. I always do, but but um, I don't really need to because they should be the same. But in case you bumped your camera or something, I, I just click by matching features. Um, I don't hit the crop, and just for the sake of it, I, I click those. Now, if you had people moving around, you wanted to try and reduce the ghosting because you've got different exposures and it'll, it'll try to blend it, you could um, click this. But I don't have any people in this one, so I don't need to do that. So now you just hit generate this HDR. So this is evaluating the lights and the darks and all those five different exposures as you can put them into one image. Yes. And the image you're going to get at first is going to look really bad. <coughs> Not what you want to go with. And this is, and, and before, you know, I usually um, work in Lightroom, put this together. And so before, beforehand, I went through and I changed my, um, my camera settings, which, what settings I wanted, what, you know, I changed it to, I think, tungsten light is what it was, because that's what, I think it was tungsten. Anyways, you want to go through and make your settings, make sure you get what light you want, you know, just make it look decent before you bring it in here. And then, then what you do is you get this ugly looking thing right here. And you don't want that. You, what you do is you have to hit this tone mapping button, which is going to bring in this and giant screen. We'll make this smaller so we can kind of see it. So, let's see. There we go. All right. So here are our default settings. I mostly use these ones right here. Um, and it's, it's really, at this point, it's just... Uh, using your own artistic view, whatever you want it to look like. Normally, what I do is I play with the strength one and the smoothing. Those are really the only ones that I generally play with, except for on this picture. Um, <laughs> this picture, it was um, the strength, and I played around with it a little bit, so I, I know the settings that I lacked already. So I, I actually turned all of these up, which was surprising to me that I, I liked it this way. But if you look at it, you've got all the different colors, the different lights, you know, the lights and darks, and it's brought everything. And it's made it, this isn't a normal view of what you look at when you go to, um, into the tabernacle. It's not, 
it's usually a lot more bland. I don't know if that's the word for it, bland. <clears throat> but this is so. This is kind of what I've done. I've got it the way I want. You can different. You definitely can go through these different settings and play with them if you want. Um, you just get different, um, different effects, different different things. So now you hit process. And it makes your uh, your picture. Okay, so now save as. <clears throat> At this point, where did you save that to? Desktop. Yeah. Let's see. So now you can close that and go in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to open this in Camera Raw. This is normally I work in Lightroom, and so you can do a lot of all of the same settings that I did in Lightroom. You can do in Camera Raw. It's the same thing. So you just open it up in Camera Raw. We've all gone through the training, and we we know how to use this. So some of the things that that I've gone through, and I've <coughs> at the first I noticed if you look through here, you can see all these different blues that. It's more, you can see it better on this screen, but there's a lot of blue in here. Um, so one thing that I did was I went to the saturation, this tool, and you click where you want, and I desaturated the blues to make it more of a, a gray. One thing that happens is, you know, down all of your other blues, you're going to kind of lose that. So down here, I was, I was just trying to keep a little bit of blue detail in here. So I've got that. So another thing that I like to do on um, these HDRs, it does a really good job sometimes. Most of the time it does. If you just click the auto exposure, it can make a big difference. And sometimes you just want to, you know, you want to play with a little bit, make sure you get it the way you like it. But but a lot of the times it, it gets it right where I like it. So <laughs> and in this case, it did that. Um, a lot of times in... Um, this this kind of a picture you can up your clarity which kind of sharpens it a little bit um, and one of the other things that I did for this picture when I finished it was the lens vignetting I brought that all the way down and I made point I kind of brought that down a little bit so now it's pretty much that's pretty much how I finished it so that's pretty much my finished thing. So I think I like less blue. So, any questions? It's good. Huh? It's cool. Did I go too fast or anything? But <clears throat> all right. So that's kind of what I did with that. And um, let's see. I just had a couple other ones. Where's that folder? There was just a couple other HDRs I took that night that I was just gonna kind of show. So I've got that. That picture was um, a five stop one, as well. Um, that was a three stop one. It's kind of cool. This this is that same this is one of the pictures of this one. Just I mean that's that's what you get. <laughs> so in here you can see the difference. You got all the light up in here that you can get and the it just brings out all the lights and darks. And you really in um photomatics you can really make it kind of fantasy or you can try and keep it as real as possible. And it's really, like I said, it's up to you. And so. That's cool. That's all I got. All right. Great. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'll do a little bit here, and I've been reading a little bit more and doing some study kind of on how, what the tools actually do, and I'll show you a little bit of that.